This is We Ruin It. I'm Nate. Nate Greats. Where we oh, where I play great games. That's where we'll go then. Up the old path. Going up the old path. Walking up the old path. Okay. Oh, still walking. This is a long old path. Jeez. A lot of walking involved. I guess they figure that the... Oh, there's the moon. I guess they figure that the uh, music will uh, distract you from how far you have to walk. How long this game is. There's a cross. Oh, there's a big face. Military group, the edge of perilous precipice. What is up with that? Yeah, what, what is what is up with that? What is up with this stuff? It's a good question to ask, you know. What's up with this? It's a question you should ask yourself often. Hey. Yep, I see it. It's a big old face. He's got bad breath. See? Real bad breath. Alright. Let's see what this is. Pedestal. Some sort of pedestal. At the edge of the perilous precipice stood a stone card with a uh, with the glyph of a skyward sword beneath the colors of a rainbow. We Scythians loathe rainbows. That's a shame. Loathe rainbows. That's that's, that's a shame. Let's go What's talk up? to this guy again. The woodsman known as Longfellow had chosen to chill out beneath a stone shelter near the perilous precipice. Longfellow seemed to know all about the loathsome rainbow. Loathsome rainbow. <laughs> and the nearby glyph depicting the skyward sword. And yet, Longfellow offered zero help about what to do next, which kind of rubbed us the wrong way if we're being totally honest. We are being totally honest to, to Longfellow. We don't appreciate this. Log fellow. We appreciate you, but we don't appreciate what you're doing right now. No, I didn't. I wanted to pet the dog again. Yeah, I got it. He's not being helpful. Let's walk over here. We hate rainbows. The ear. Just unsheathe. No. Oh. Oh! I'm not too sure if I like that. I think I just stabbed and killed a rainbow. <laughs> I heard it scream. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, his tongue. We're walking across the tongue, aren't we? The long fellow's excited. <laughs> I'm not too excited about walking across this guy's tongue. We had a bridge chasm. We felt super smart. We had bridged the chasm. We told Longfellow that we sought a burdensome book of sinister sorcery known as the Megatome. The Megatome lurked somewhere in the haunted darkness beyond the perilous precipice beneath Mingita. We resolved to go get the Megatome and then get out alive. I guess we're walking across this tongue, Ugh. and into his bad breath. <laughs> a log fella's not coming with us. I don't blame you, log fella. I wouldn't come if the game didn't tell me to. We're going through his throat. Oh, he's a double-faced man. It's weird. What was that old cartoon, Cat and Dog? Was it Cat and Dog that had the cat on the dog? Cat, cat, dog? I don't remember. It's hard to tell. Above the rock cut entrance to the mountain temple, we spot a pictograph representation of the Trigon Trifecta. Trigon Trifecta. Let's try it. A rickety bridge stood a grim pole creepily adorned with an antlered skull. Let's go up here. Go in the door. 
Dusty. We need a maiden here to dust. Ooh, what is this? In a subterranean corridor, we spot an ominous statue, but we didn't worry too much about it. Yeah, cause why would ya? Now he has the same type of shield as we do. And sword, apparently. Maybe he's a ancestor. Maybe we have a... a creepy antler skull as a face. That's possible, right? What's that? Is that a thing? No, that's not a thing. Deep within a mountain temple above a tall passageway we spot three strange triangular shapes. Didn't you just say what that was? The the Triforce Trifecta or something? I thought he already knew what that was. This place doesn't look very secure. There's holes in the walls. Oh, those are meant to be there. Let's see. As we go in here. What's that? Nope, nothing. Still have the creepy music. This kind of, it's, it, this is a, a mellow game. If you like mellow atmospheric experiences, this is a good game for you. Because it definitely is mellow. Let's say we spot a pictograph representation of the Trigon Trifecta in the darkness behind Mingi Tall. Spot an antlered skull floating in the darkness beneath Mingi Doll. This I don't like I don't like this. What is this? Ugh. Ooh, we found the Megatome clasped in two bone hands, and we felt our sword stir in its sheath. Well now it's out of its sheath. Is it still stirring? Ah! Apparently, he doesn't like getting cut with swords. Victory! Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. What is that, a flange? It's really cool music. I guess we're running. Running from this thing. Stay away. Run down here. It's a good thing he can only take the stairs. <laughs> Ooh. He's got some bats or something around him. It. We still don't care about that statue. Come on. Oh. Uh oh. Don't. Don't. Don't fade into existence, please. No. Don't do it. Run. <coughs> Run away. Ah. Fight. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I got him. He looks a lot like that statue we weren't really bothered about earlier. Now we got him again. There's the moon. Gotcha. Oh. That would have killed him. Put that sword away. Let's get that crap out of here. How long things comes? Run or walk. You, know, you can also walk. Go back to this bad breath guy. It's 
somehow it seems like that wasn't a good thing that I did. Even though I was trying to get the Megatome and protect it, maybe, it doesn't seem like that was a particularly good thing that I just did. Hey. Hey. Oh, there went the tongue. Ooh, and the mouth closed, too. The doggy didn't like that. We had retrieved the Megatome, and Logfellow was 100% ready to move it, move it, move it to the safety of his lodgings. Um, that, uh, we sensed a gathering thunderstorm, and yet a little song began in our hearts. Oh boy! I think I'm not going to hoof it back there just yet. I think I'm going to leave it there for this episode, and I appreciate you uh, watching. Please subscribe to the We Ruin It channel for more of Nate's greats, so, it's, so it'll be in your feed, and you can just click on it. It'd be easy.